Robert Easter Jr. of About Billions Promotions gets at Devin Haney. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. We work, and shout out to the Patreon patrons, the donations, the super chats, a lot coming. Now, I'm on the verified page of Bell Billions' own Robert Easter Jr., and there's been some friction with Devin Haney and Robert Easter. Namely, Devin Haney called out Robert Easter publicly, on camera, off camera, on Twitter, and he wants that fight, according to Devin Haney. And I guess it got back to Robert Easter Jr. And he posted this screenshot. I don't know who's, somebody was going, it looks like Instagram Live. And you see a comment from the verified Devin Haney, real Devin Haney. And it says, comment Devin Haney on Robert Easter's page. So it looks like Devin Haney was trying to get some buzz and some traction with this fight. And Robert Easter says, in his caption, man, go play some video games, little boy. And quit playing with me. You telling people to troll you. I think he meant me. To troll me just as bogus as them. And I can't tell what that is. It's an emoji. Real Devin Haney, you want some fame so bad. Well, here you go. I just gave my number one fan a shout out. I'll give you an autograph when I see you as well. This is my first and last time even feeding into this. You are officially a troll. Hashtag fail. Hashtag epic fail. Hashtag it's a kid. So he's responding to those motions for fans to get involved or whatever and push for the fight. And I want to know what you guys think about that. And Devin Haney did comment on Robert Easter's post, this particular post. And Devin Haney said, The funny part is I want fame or attention, but I'm more known than you. You need to talk to your publicist or something. They not doing their job, champ. So Devin Haney says, I'm more popping than you are. My thoughts, very simple. I like Devin Haney. I got the, the chance to see him spar. The kid's bad. He's young. I like the attitude. Uh, a lot of people get mad and carried away and upset when these fighters have this competitive edge. Me, I, I actually like it. You know what I mean? What are you supposed to do? You're a fighter. This is life or death, or it could be, you know what I mean? Obviously, I don't wish bad on anyone, but I'm just saying when you lace them up, you never know the outcome. So you're not supposed to go into these fights with low confidence. It's just like, I'm a big hip hop head. And who would buy music from a person in all their music, especially in the world of hip hop? There's nothing braggadocious and they have low self-esteem and everything's about how they ain't shit and nobody likes them. That would be depressing. You know what I mean? But people listen to hip hop because you get to see the flashy lifestyle, the girls, they're talking about jewelry, you know what I mean? Different stuff. So the fight game is very synonymous to me with hip hop. It's very competitive. And at the end of the day, wow, people are putting Robert Easter on his page. Oh, it looks like a lot of the same people. But at the end of the day, it's it's competitive. And that's that's what I like about boxing. And that's the cold part about boxing too. You become a champion, you got that bullseye. The moment, just think of becoming a champion, right? Like Jeff Horn, he just became a champion. That's similar to someone who works a nine to five getting a promotion at their job. And that's like people wanting to fight you for it the day you get a promotion, the day it's announced. You know what I mean? That's how cold boxing is. That's why it's a, you, you can't make this up. You can't duplicate the reality and the realness of this sport. You know what I mean? Like I said, Jeff Horn, he beats Pacquiao. He, he holds on in the ninth round, almost gets stopped. And then it shows a ton of balls and heart. And then now you have Danny Garcia wants a piece. Errol Spence, that's that's the game. You know what I mean? That's the game we're in. Here's a picture of Devin Haney and Terrence Crawford. Devin Haney's pretty big. Terrence Crawford has a good size frame and they look pretty comparable, right? And Tevin, or excuse me, Devin Haney was in the Mayweather gym and Terrence Crawford stopped by. This is during the Ward Kovalev. I was actually supposed to be there that day and I'm mad that I didn't. 
And he said, the time the champ, Terrence Crawford, asked me what shoes, what size shoes I wear, I told him his size. Hashtag the dream. So he's poking a little fun at his friend. But I, I really have no problem. Here's him and his pops. I have no problem with Devin Haney wanting, wanting to fight Robert Easter. In fact, I think it's a good fight. I want to see if he feels he's ready. Him and his team want to put him in there. I mean, that's clearly a step up. And that shows that they're hungry and they're ready. And maybe they, in their mind, feel like there's a, a flaw that that he has that they can exploit. But, I mean, the kid's sweet. Here's a clip. Now, he was looking sweet in there, but obviously I don't know much about his last opponent, and his, his team's put him in there with who he should be putting in there. He's 16-0. and 0. They're moving him through the ranks, getting him that pro-level experience. So I like it. Obviously, Robert Easter is, is a champion, and I, I believe he's more of a quality fighter than this dude, but this is the challenger who's, who's trying to bring it to the champion. So obviously, they, they feel confident and like their chances. Me, I don't know why Robert Easter is, is kind of dismissing it. I don't know. Maybe I guess he feels he's not on his level, but this kid is 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 nice. And I, obviously, he's, he's building his profile and he's building his brand. He sparred with Mayweather, who's fighting Conor McGregor. So I don't think it's so out of the question. Me, personally, I want to see it. I think it'd be a good fight, right? And like I said, Devin Haney and Team Haney, obviously, they see something in there where they feel like they like his chances. And here's him training with Floyd Sr. <laughs> See, you could tell too when people have experience because like Lomachenko, Devin Haney, I see them doing stuff in there that you clearly have to have experience to do. Like when he's fighting this dude, this clip, he's he has his hands down real low, swagged out. He's laughing, smiling. He looks very relaxed and he's, he's young. What is he, 18 years old right now? So me, I, I really don't have a problem. This is Robert Easter's verified account. I don't have a problem with the fight at all, but maybe Robert Easter sees a reason like, oh, I'm, I got bigger fish to fry. I don't know, but I would like to see the fight. This would be a huge step up in class. Some people even thought Robert Easter lost to Denis Shafikov. I still haven't had a chance to watch that fight, to be honest, because I was out and about that particular night. But Robert Easter, he's quality. He's a, he's a good fighter himself. So... I don't know. I, I would want to see it just for the. I'm a fan. Before I started doing any of this, I was purely a fan of the sport. So why would I not want to see two young in prime dudes who got skill fighting? Robert Easter would probably be a little bit taller than Devin Haney, and he has more pro level experience. Richard Comey, the Mendez, Denis Shafikov, stuff like that. Cruz, but. Hey, like I said, it's really up to Team Haney. If they feel like they're ready for that step up, I wouldn't get in the way of this. Let me know your thoughts. Who would win in a fight like this? Who would you put your money on? New money or would you go with eBunny? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday.